Hello, I'm Jerry Ford, the beer review guy. <clears throat> Here's the next Mike Healy beer. From Evil Twin Brewing, New York City. <clears throat> this one is called... That's what happens when you let Dad out of the house. New York, New York City version. <clears throat> So this is a 6.5% ABV. Um, it's a sour India pale ale brewed with pineapple, gu guanabana, vanilla, and milk sugar. Sounds interesting, doesn't it? A sour India pale ale, so this isn't. <clears throat> no, it's an IPA. Just a sour. This would be different. I don't know if I've ever had a sour IPA. Ah, didn't bring my tool. Ah. Okay. <clears throat> Probably have a little chatting at the end, so. I always try to remember to tell you guys that, so you'll know after re after the review I could keep on talking. So it looks sour. Ooh, it's very cloudy. Wow. Oh, there's some big old chunks in there. Can you see them? <clears throat> wow. Ooh, this thing looks juicy. See them floaters in there? Just a little bit more. Okay. <clears throat> Let that settle a little bit. There's the foam, you know, has to go back to liquid, so. There's just a little under a finger of head. The sours don't usually put off a lot of head, but this being an IPA, kind of has a um, <clears throat> a little <clears throat> a little alter ego going on. Uh, so uh, we got a just a just an apricot kind of an orangish look to it. Very cloudy. Um, lots of particulates in there floating around. Let's see what we get here. Mm, oh my goodness, that smells good. You get the pineapple. It smells like an overly ripe pineapple. <sighs> A little citrusy, citrus, citrusness. <clears throat> has a sweet aroma. There's a little bit of a sour characteristic. It's not like huge on the aroma. Um, Guanabana. I'm not totally sure about that, about, about that, what that, that aroma would be like. I'm not really sure. Oh, sorry about what the flavor of a guanabana is. I do get kind of a, <clears throat> like a milk aroma kind of in the mix. It smells really good. Milk sugar. So it sounds like it's gonna be sweet and sour, doesn't it to you? All right, let's check it out. Cheers. Holy smoke, man, that is good. It's sweet and sour. Um, it's got a medium body. It's got a light to medium carbonation. Um, it has that milk 
content kind of a taste to it. Excuse my phone, the wind's kind of blowing it a little bit. So you're going to see just a little bit of teetering and tottering. Let's see if I can fix it. <clears throat> Um, the sourness is just kind of mid to the end, mid to end of the drink. Um, but it's really balanced really well. I mean, it's a balanced sweet and sour like really well <clears throat> juicy did i mention juiciness um do you get the pineapple i already said that pineapple maybe just a little bit of a you could almost say at the end of the pineapple kind of gives you a banana characteristic this is really good really good um, <clears throat> that character is on one of those those uh, two wheeled little like a skate thing that's kind of battery operated and, and just kind of it, it just like a, a motorized skateboard only the wheels are on not in front they're on the sides using them and this guy's wearing a, a is it a gi what is the karate the karate outfit <laughs> he's holding <coughs> he's holding a pair of nunchucks <coughs> You let dad out of the house and he gets on that thing and he's wearing a karate outfit holding nunchuck, nunchucks and he's just kind of, this shows a skateboard upside down. Doesn't look like the ride went too well for whoever was riding that. Um, that 6.5. very slight you can barely taste the alcohol in this thing just these big sweet and sour flavors are just they're just huge and uh this thing you could you could gulp this thing down so easily a very good beer a very good beer Easy five right there. Okay. Um, the aftertaste is kind of, <clears throat> it's the kind of aftertaste you get with eating pineapple. After you've eaten a pineapple, you got that kind of a, it starts dulling off a little bit. It still has a little bit of a sweetness, but it kind of goes to a little dryness type of a thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I'm not getting the particulates. I'd be if they're in my drink, I'm just swallowing them. So I can see a lot of settling. I can see. I can see it all settled down there at the bottom. You see it down there? It's getting sweeter at the bottom. Very good. Okay. Well, I end it there. So, 
those of you that don't know, um, getting my own office. I mentioned that, I think, a few times. So I started painting on my office today. I think it's looking pretty good. I'm, I did one paint color and, and then I was like, eh, I don't think I like that. So I painted over it. I'm trying to be creative, you know what I mean? Um, it's my office. I was told I could paint it whatever I want to paint it. So I'm using the paints that we use at the campus. So, um, <clears throat> but oh, it's getting kind of breezy. The bugs are flying around. The temperatures are decent. So I saw a couple flies flying around and stuff. Um, but, uh, so yeah, I done that. Worked on that today. Still got some more to do. I'll be doing. I'll be painting on that thing probably the rest of the week. <clears throat> Just trying to get this carpet out of there. Yesterday, and it took me dang near the whole day to get it out of there. The room. I probably mentioned this too. The room. The room I'm getting as an office was used as a storage closet. I know I say closet, it's not that small. It's a good size storage area. And, um, but it had that low, dark gray, kind of black Berber. Uh, it didn't have no pad underneath it. They just, they just put glue on the entire surface of the floor. Like they rolled it on with a paint roller. I mean, it was, I mean, it was all over it. And then they put the, then they laid the carpet down there. It was stuck down there good. It's probably been there since the 70s. Um, so yeah, it was hard to get up. Finally got it, got it out of there. Finished it today, carpet out. But uh, yeah, I got the carpenter waiting for me to get done but with my painting so he can put new carpet in there for me, new cove base. She's got to change out a ceiling tile for me. Um, but it's going to be nice. The only bad thing I'm not looking forward to is that the air flow in there. It's because it being a storage area, it doesn't it doesn't have very good air flow. So it could get a little hot in there in the summertime. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to have to get a fan. Fan's going to have to be blowing in there. Um... I can't think of any other way to get around it. I can't get a regular office. I'm just fortunate that I got that. But um, anyway, so uh, I'll try to remember to, to record a video of where I'm at so far and, and post it so you guys can see what I got done so far. Um... Yeah, I went by, I saw my dad today. Haven't seen him in probably three or four weeks um, because of the weather being a problem. Because of, hey, you got to be kidding me. Do you see this? Do you see this fly in my beer? I see him right now. He's on my, my grill cover, crawling up it. He's trying to dry his wings off. He's flying around, then he just dived into my dadgum beard like it was a pool or something. No, I'm not gonna waste it. Ain't no way. He didn't dirty it up that much. He didn't poop her in there or anything. If he peed, I don't know it. I wouldn't know it. <laughs> oh, shoot. He's probably enjoying that sweet beer, though. I bet you. Probably one of the luckiest flies <clears throat> around in this area. So, anyway, what was I saying? Um, yeah, I went by to see my dad. He's like 86 years old. He has, he's in a nursing home. He's got a slight dementia. 
and um, but I had a half and half good visit with him today. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> and then after that, I just I came home and visited with the wife and son, and said I'm going to go do a beer review. Now get out of here. Boy, flies are all over the place. Um, it'll be worse during late spring, early summer. That's about it. I'm going to make a separate video, tell you all about something else. I mention it probably every 50 to 100 subscribers, maybe less than that. But some of you are probably tired of hearing about it. Okay, I'm going to end it there. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. This is excellent beer. I love it. That's what happens when you let Dad out of the house. New York City version. But you know, that it's going to be hard putting this in the title. And plus my hashtag, the beer review guy. I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to put it in there. You can only put 100 letters in there. So, I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> I have to abbreviate some things or something. <clears throat> Excuse me. Brewed by Evil Twin Brewing, Ridgewood, New York. Have you tried this one, Mike? Okay. I'm ending it here. I thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Thanks to Mike Healy for sending me this. Mike, we're down to maybe three more of your beers. I've got that 15% barley wine beer that I'm saving it for last. Then I have another one that's in a silver can like this. I can't remember what it's called. It seems like I got one more in there. <clears throat> so we're getting down. <coughs> and then I bought... <coughs> 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 I went to the liquor store a couple weeks ago. We got some $1 beers. Just a little variety of some stuff. And it'll just be a filler. And then my last check, instead of getting beer, I've got, I substituted getting beer this time for, for some K-cups, some coffees and teas. Because I got many people that enjoy the coffee and tea reviews too. So I'm kind of trying to balance that out you know so um next check i'm going to get some more beers try to get some more decent stuff than what i got this time you guys are probably think they're interesting but uh then i got a few suggestions i need to try to accomplish but yeah all right well thank you for watching i appreciate it thanks to mike healy again for the beer and we'll see you all on the next one.